everybody, it is Cinnamon Cooney, your art Sherpa, and welcome to the easiest dandelion painting ever. It really is a fun and easy painting. So if you're a very first time painter, and you've been telling yourself for a lot of years that this is something that you can't do, I mean, have you actually told people, I don't even draw a stick figure? Right. If that's you, this is absolutely a great first time painting for you. On the mic today is my husband, John. Hello. John is the Sherpa tracker. And basically, we have several cameras in the studio so that you can get a better close up vision of what it is I'm doing. So you know exactly what's going on. In the description, I include more information about what's in the video. Things like materials lists, links to finished pictures. We're painting this today. Right? This gorgeous little turquoise background. Ooh. It kills the cameras, but <laughs> it's really beautiful. And it's going to be something super fun that you can do. We're doing it on a 16 by 20 pre gessoed canvas. Super fun. Mm -hmm. Right? But you could do this on, uh, you know, multimedia papers. Or you could do this on, you know, any surface for paint that you have. We're painting acrylic. We're painting acrylic today. So... <laughs> And listen, here's I'm painting um, Golden and Liquitex and actually System 3 today. Yep. Paint the best paint that your budget allows. Yeah. Like, don't hurt your pocketbook, but just get a really good nationally known in your area paint that has a website and customer service and, you know, somebody to call if you have any trouble. Because your paint and your brush manufacturer, they're your art partners. Yes. They're your art partners in this journey, so you want somebody that's going to be there for you. Boy, did we learn a lot about that. Boy, we did. And we're going to be talking to you guys about that soon. Um, this is a live show, so if you're here on the replay, that's what's going on is that this is live. Hi, everybody, live. I have, um, I got some tea, Tivana tea. I got the Lavender Dreams, and I am loving it. I'm so relaxing. I need to relax today. Mm. Do you need to relax? I need to relax. I need to relax. Do you need to relax? That's what we're going to be doing today is we're really, really going to put the stress ball down and just let it roll down the hill. We're not even chase that thing. That we don't need it good. no more. I don't need that stress ball no more. <laughs> I'm letting it go. I can. And if you're a little brush, you have a stress ball, you let it go. <laughs> yes. So I've got this here, and I have the acrylic paint here. The colors I'm painting with today are Thalo Blue. All right, I got that here. This is, you know, the Liquitex. Yes. That's what that looks like, Thalo Blue. I have some nice golden cad yellow. Listen, a good place to save money on your cadmium is just to get hue, right? Yeah. So in a student paint, it's always going to be hue. But in a pro paint, you can select hue to get that cost down. And, and you know, um, that can be like, you know, you might be like, safety concerns so you could be like ah, I don't want to paint with cadmium and that's totally cool some type of turquoise paint any of the turquoise colors will work you may have to lighten them with white yeah. to get the bright color that you're looking for and of course titanium white so these are all out on my palette I am painting dollar and rally uh, simply Simmons brushes today yes right and these are the extra firm filament. So when you're looking for an acrylic brush, whatever that brand is, look for an extra firm filament. In other words, it shouldn't feel too good on your face for makeup. Gotcha. If you can do makeup, don't use it. Or if, unless you have soft body paint, then definitely use it. There's no really hard and fast rule in art. Or if you really have to <laughs> apply your makeup hard, maybe you want some. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to be too limiting to you. These are just guidelines. <laughs> so, you know, don't take it too seriously because that would completely bring that stress ball back. No <sighs> And we're going to let that go today. Hopefully, John has got music that is relaxing and not annoying going on in the background. He, I, I try. He tries. I'm going to use this nice number 12 bright. Yes. Right? And the, a bright is this sort of square. If it says flat, that just means the bristles are a lot longer. You're getting so excited. You're just like ready to go paint. You've I been am, away from the... You're I'm like, ready to go paint. We're skipping wishes. I'm not going to skip wishes. I'm just giving information. Okay. I'm not skipping wishes. You can't paint a dandelion without wishes. Because you're like talking about brushes and we got wishes. I know. And birthdays. But I remember I told you I was going to change it up today. Okay, hold and on. And you were going to flow no. with me. <laughs> All right. We have Luna just came in. 
So uh, one thing that we like to do a whole, whole lot is put wishes into our canvas. I use watercolor pencils because they disappear into the paint. I would not use a graphite pencil because it would show through or bleed through your paint. But the other place you can put wishes is on these back stretchers. You can write all kinds of secret messages back there. I really like to do that, especially if I'm giving gifts to friends, people I love, or my kids. Just a weird little thing I like to do. You might like to do that too. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Do we have some wishes, I think, we already in the queue? And we might have some from our community, because if you're here live, you might have a wish for us to put under the canvas. We do. We do. So uh, we, we have uh, four uh, Caroline wishes for healing her knees. Yes. I just wish Caroline's knees just feel so much better really soon. Have them be so happy. And we have a wish for Denise and her daughter to make safe travels to uh, uh, to her ultrasound. And she's got a lot of bad weather she's going to be traveling. Oh, through. yeah. Safe travels. Maybe it just be eating perfect lights. Perfect. Like everything just works out for you on your journey. And we have a, we have a wish for Barbara. Uh, happy birthday for Barbara. Oh, happy birthday, Barbara. How are you? Happy birthday. And, and we just had a birthday for uh, for Secret, too, didn't we? We did. And I and I got to wish it on our page, but happy birthday, Secret Soto. Happy birthday. One of my favorite YouTubers ever. And then we got we have a bunch that are coming here. We're going we're gonna to wish for, for all of the kids to get accepted into college. Yes, all your children must go to college. <laughs> all children should go away to school <laughs> on scholarship. <laughs> yes. <laughs> for four to eight years. <laughs> <laughs> and we're gonna. We're, I think our last wish for the community, because I see a lot of this coming up, is a is a wish for this the, for the end of pain. You know, that's one I really want to bring out there in the end for physical and emotional pain. I would yeah. just love to see that. I, that would be the great next technological advancement I'd like to see is an end to pain. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't that be a miraculous thing to see in your lifetime? Yeah. All types of pain. Excellent. I'm so excited today. We're putting good energy into the universe, and we're painting. Yes. I, our community really enjoyed the wish that all the kids should go away to four to eight years on a scholarship. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> Complete rot. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and uh, we, oh, we have one more birthday. For oh. a, it's a sixth birthday for a little brush. Oh, sixth birthday. For Brooke. Six. Brooke. Happy birthday, Brooke. That's an awesome birthday. You're getting so big. Yeah. So That's fantastic. I totally hope I get to see your painting. Yep. Post it up on the Facebook page, on our website, everywhere. We want to see it. Okay. So what do now we I got to write that in. Oh, yeah. Put, the, put that in there. I had to put that in. Brooke needs the embedded wish for birthday six. My son just had a sixth birthday, Brooke, so I know that's a big deal. Hold on. I got my big square brush. My big square <laughs> brush. <laughs> <laughs> we got a co-captain Luna today. Yes, she's our co-captain. She's, she's in here with us. I'm going to dampen my brush. I'm going to just tap it off on the edge of the thing. I don't want it really sopping wet because that would over thin my paint. I just want it damp so it kind of warms up and softens the bristle a little bit. And so if you don't have turquoise, you know you can make turquoise. I'm going to show you guys really quick by taking a little yellow over to your blue and making kind of a lovely bluish green. And then, of course, adding white to it. Right. So if you don't have um, the turquoise paint, that's how you can make it with the colors you've got. You know, don't ever let, you know, stuff like the materials or a color that you might have or not have stop you from just having your creative day. Nobody's coming in to check this work, right? Nobody's coming in to tell you how it needs to be well luna might if we're not careful luna might if we're not careful you know now when you're adding a little white to your turquoise you'll notice i'm adding a little white to my turquoise and i'm gonna make sure my up close camera we are gonna reorient the studios guys to the left really soon mm -hmm. which yeah. is um scary for me but we're doing it we're gonna, we're gonna try to do some camera camera movement we think that might help y'all's view so that my painting arm isn't blocking what you see. So that'll be the next big change that you're going to see is we're going to scarily remove move all the equipment. So you're going to notice that I'm pulling paint out from the side here 
And then I'm coming over and pulling paint out from the side till I hit the color that I want. I'm not over mixing it. Can you see that? Yeah, you can probably get on the close up too. Let's see. See that? That's yeah. how it's loaded into the brush. So that's how it would look like for you at home. That's your goal. And I'm just coating the canvas with it. If you were to say be painting your canvas and it felt like the paint was pulling away from the canvas, a couple of things that might be happening to you is too much water in your paint mixture and it's also possible that the coating on the canvas, right, which is actually supposed to be for preparing for paint, may actually be resisting the paint. That's been happening lately with a lot of these canvases, especially in the economy packs. And so just don't think it's you. That's all I'm asking you to have is like some belief that's it, that it's you, right? That it's yeah. not you. And then we're just putting in this nice little turquoise. And there's all kinds of ranges of turquoise, isn't there, John? I, <laughs> there is. There's the greeny turquoise, that sort of Tiffany mm -hmm. green turquoise. There is all kinds of different ranges of turquoise. And you can really adjust this into your house. You just want it to be dark enough so that the white dandelion puff is really going to show. Gotcha. But not so dark that the painting isn't fun. Right? Yeah. And what if you just hated turquoise? Uh, what would you do? Not go to Southwest art shows. <laughs> If you just hated turquoise, you would pick another color and just paint it on your background and know that I support you in that. <laughs> because this is your painting. And probably should avoid Southwest art shows. Possibly, yeah, because there's a lot of turquoise there, just there's in general. A lot of turquoise there. So you can see I'm just brushing it in. I'm kind of, you know, when I do this, if you notice, I'm like brushing on my flat like this, which helps work the paint in. The brush really helps me, guys. This is a tool, this is definitely a painting partner tool. The stiff bristles help work this paint into the canvas. So even if the canvas wants to give me grief, which this one wants to, mm -hmm. it's fighting back, John. It's <laughs> saying no. But I'm telling it, you will do what I say. <laughs> which is not really that relaxing. You're, you're going to brush that canvas into submission. I am. I'm going to get a handle on this here. I got it. Now I'm taking a deep breath and kind of center myself into this nice, lovely experience. Right, because I'm painting. I put myself on the list. I love when you guys put yourself on the list. <laughs> the list of important things. Maybe you're not at the top of the list, but you're on it. Yes. You're on it somewhere. You've said, I'm on the list this week. This week of important things. I've checked my box. Mm. Check your own box, right? Elizabeth is excited because she broke her first brush. She <gasps> wore one out. Oh, Elizabeth. That's Do the happy dance. You're arting now. You actually just wear one out from use. That's pretty awesome. That is the thing. One thing you might try, though, it's sort of interesting, is to uh, soak it in a brush cleaner and then dip the bristles in boiling water. Sometimes you can reshape them and reclaim it. I, I think that it, it was a physical break. Like Oh, well, then go, Elizabeth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think I was just using an opportunity to, to talk about brush restoration. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> well, you did learn a little bit about brush restoration, though, didn't you? I we, did. We I talked about, we talked to a lot of brush people. We did. We went to the Art Materials World Show to get to know all the manufacturers. We're going to have a whole, my favorite, my top favorite picks of art materials that you guys just have to know about. Of course, unsponsored. <laughs> These are just things I pretty much kidnapped from people's booths and was like, that's the best thing I've ever seen. We're going to have a whole video about it so you guys can know what is really exciting mm -hmm. and wonderful. And we'll tell you about what that was like because that was life-changing. Meeting the people who make these products was really terrific. Yep, it really was. I mean, like, uh, all, you know, a lot of you are, are asking in channel, uh, if, we, if we're posting, where are we posting this stuff up on? And I've got an actual, I'm not as good at Facebook as I am at, like, blogging on my own page. I don't know why I just am sort of like so. I've got a, I made a little I made a little uh, area on our forums called Sherpa Scuttlebutt. And I've got <laughs> you're so weird. I, it, it is. It's got a whole bunch. I put a whole bunch of stuff in there about what we're doing and kind of like put little updates and stuff. 
If you want to see a deeper look into the mind of stunt hands, oh no, it's actually go by the blog. It's more <laughs> about you. It yeah, but you know what? Your writing is it's definitely an insight into John. I promise you, it's oh. totally true. But there's a whole bunch of stuff out there about like what we're doing and trying to be. What are you drinking that you're enjoying so much? I am drinking this Tivana Lavender Dream Tea. That's a pretty cup. It's a pretty tea, and I love this cup. We got this cup at. It has a little pretty lid too. Oh, that's right. I saw it's a that. Pretty lid. It's my. It is my Serenity cup. Do you have a Serenity cup? I have a Serenity. Cu- I have cups for moods. I do, but it's magnetic, so that when the ship goes upside down, it doesn't fall out. <laughs> Goodness gracious, Mister Coney. Different Serenity. How are has everyone finding their relax button today? I think so. Everybody pushing it, saying, "You know what." I think I'm going to embrace my calmer, special state. I'm going to say me. So hard to say me. Because there's so many things to do, right? It's, yeah. You have trouble with this, too. It's really hard to say, you know what? I need a little second, just 30 minutes, just an hour, just a little bit of time to restore myself. To just put the me back in me for just two seconds. You're not asking to be number one on the list. You're just trying to get yourself on there somewhere, anywhere. Isn't that right? Mm-hmm. Just somewhere on the list. Everybody's got a list. Yeah. Of stuff that they got to do that's on fire. <laughs> that probably needed to be done to 20 minutes ago. All of it. And it's really hard to look at that list and say, you know, my name needs to be there too. Because it's been a rough week, or I'm feeling tired, or this has been hard when I'm going through, and I need to, I need to give back to me just a small amount. You know, I'm yeah, not running off to, to you know, Monaco. <laughs> <laughs> Though that would be really fun, wouldn't it? Yes, I think that's going to run away to Monaco. What would you do there when you ran away there? I don't. No, I've never been to Monaco. But they were, they have races there, I know. They have wonderful races. And then across the little waterway there, they have uh, the film festival. Mm-hmm. And they have yachts. There's a lot of yachts. I imagine we would probably, if we went to Monaco, I would be setting up camera equipment <laughs> on a vista somewhere while you were preparing to paint something <laughs> that would be fun i'd do that <laughs> i think that sounds that's what i would probably be doing it do we like have any something. viewers in monaco <laughs> <laughs> Can we borrow i think your we have porch? like three i don't i don't know that we have a lot yeah but i think it's amazing that we've had anyone in monaco ever just sit up and say you know i need to stop my life of utter fabulousness for two seconds and maybe i'm gonna paint but they mm-hmm. put themselves on the list didn't they mm-hmm. yeah you know that's the hard list to get on. That's the exclusive list. Your own list. Yeah. Mona said that, uh, you know, she wasn't putting herself on the list until her body said, uh, no, you're going to get on the list and your doctor agrees. Oh, uh, yeah. Your body will do that. My mom is the queen of waiting until her body says, you're on the list. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then we all have a very exciting day. Mm-hmm. So I'm so glad that you're putting yourself on the list now, though, Mona. That's an important list. I am. You'll see me working in area a little bit. What's happening here is the canvas is saying no, and I'm saying insistently, yes, (laughs) it's happening. (laughs) It's just for some reason today doesn't feel like it just isn't feeling blue is what it's saying. It says, I don't feel blue. Yeah. You know, Um, I'd like to point out, you know, paint. The canvas is being covered by paint. It is. It's being covered by paint. So that's working out really well. So. Sandy was asking. Uh, this is a uh, number one fifty four. If you want this exact color. Oh, I've got I've got a couple questions here. I'm gonna run through if you don't mind. Okay, I don't. Yeah. So, well, first there was a question about Goldilocks. That's a number ten. Simply Simmons. This is firm. okay. Goldilocks. This one right here. Where is it? Right here. This is her. Okay. This is her. We probably need to gold plate her. Actually, wouldn't that be cool? <laughs> That'd be very cool. <laughs> That's a weird thing I want to do, but I would gold plate this brush. She's a number ten bright. Yeah. And I love her. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's the extra firm filament. Yeah. Good brush. It's Yeah. Really happy with her. Now, okay. So and there's other good brushes. Like, if you live in a place that does not have that brush, guess what? They have other... I was at the... We were at the material show. Dude. They got good brushes all over the world. Yeah. There's good you, brushes. You just have to find one that's stiff, but not too stiff. That's really all you're looking for. You just don't want a soft brush. Yeah. Now, uh, so a couple questions. So, are... Uh, 
one, uh, let's just say hi to Jackie. She, she, hi, she Jackie. Said, oh, hi, Jackie. And, and, to, and Sandy was asking if we're having an art quest this week. We are. We are. We are art questing. Yeah, we were just a little bit behind the last week. Well, yeah. I got I got sick and it just threw off my whole production schedule. Yeah. I realized this is like because you know, I'd had that one day I'd had that, that one head cold when um Angela and I were doing it, but that was I could manage that with some pain meds. With mm-hmm. a little Tylenol well it was actually ibuprofen, but a little ibuprofen and I was like able to get through. This one not as much. Yeah. yeah <laughs> this were... one was something the kids brought home from school and it just took mama. Like, out. <laughs> Took me out. Yeah. And it's been running through the family, which is a little scary. Mm. Have kids as it goes through. It makes its way through. Travels. Uh-oh. Mark's, uh, Mark's waiting in the, waiting to go to the dentist. Oh, hey, Mark. Mark B. Mark B? Yeah. Mark, boy, I'm with you. I'm so afraid of the dentist, so he's I'm... He's chilling, trying to... He's enjoying the down-tempo... Wouldn't it be nice if you could just paint while they worked on your mouth? I think, you know, that'd be kind of weird. It would be weird, but I would something. probably do better in the dentist's office and they'd have to gas me less. <laughs> yeah. So I've got this nice turquoise in, right? Mm-hmm. It's just a nice turquoise. Happy turquoise, relaxing turquoise. But yours could be like periwinkle if you felt like. Mm-hmm. And probably not yellow because we have yellow flowers on the dandelions and that would... That would be hard to do. I'm going to just take a minute. Breathe in. Breathe out. Let it out. Breathe in the good of my art and creative time. And breathe out. But not into the microphone. (laughs) Everything else I don't love. Oh, I'm going to get a thumbs down on that. (laughs) Someday we'll get an overhead boom mic. Yes, we will. I'm going to dry my painting. Yep. Cautionary tale for those of you at home. If you're painting um, some of the student grade paints and some of the craft bottle paints, they darken as they dry and they really, really darken if heat is part of that drying process. So if you're painting, you know, a more economical paint, which is totally okay because it's paint, right? You're painting it counts to put check in the awesome box. But if that's, if that's your material, you know, that's the thing that you've got to watch for is darkening. So you may not want to hair dry. But if you're painting like Liquitex or Golden or any of the ProRam paint, paints, you can, yeah. I don't know, pretty much do what you want. Yep. <laughs> it's true. That's, that's just what it is. But that's my cautionary tale. Nothing wrong with it. You'll still get a good design, though. Okay. Right? You're going to go hair dry thing? Oh, my gosh. There she goes. She just is gone. So I will take this time to say thank you for all of you guys who are hanging out with us today. We had a pretty big audience. We've got over, 100, over 175, 176 people right here right now. So thank you guys for all coming and hanging out with us. Um, it's a you know, crazy Tuesday mid-morning. And like all of, our, uh, you know, all of our moderators and community leaders, Mona, Kim Sim, Bonnie. Uh, I saw who else is out there. I saw Mark Muir out there. So thank you guys all for coming and hey, Bonnie, yeah, hang, for hanging out today and all you guys for just coming and being with us because um, really what you, you guys coming and hanging out with me and Cinnamon, that's what makes us fun. And we enjoy chatting with you. We enjoy seeing the works that you guys do. And that's the biggest, you know, biggest thing that you can do to, to show us what's, you know, our success is by posting your pictures. We love to see that. That's so. really, it's really awesome. Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and and the Art Sherpa. Theartsherpa.com. Artsherpa.com. It works. Woo. It works. Woo. Tickle. Yeah. Now there's now the shenanigans begin. Now the sh- now I got a lot of catch up work to do, and the shenanigans yeah. begin. So we got to fill it all up with all the fun stuff. So you're gonna see lots yeah. of content piling in that. Yeah. Lots of just for you, just free just for you. Just just and it's all free. So just go out there and get it. It's all. You can just have it if you want it. Yes. Oh, hey, Marita's here too. <gasps> Marita. And you know, hi. Yeah. Dude, I think a yellow said she was going to come by, so watch, watch for her. Hmm. Oh, I. I, I got a I Luna. She, she may be here. Oh. Hey, Luna. Uh oh, and something's in her hair. She's got a new thing in her hair. Can you wipey that out? Cause that's no good. I don't know what that is, <laughs> yeah, but that's okay. not good. Whatever it is. <laughs> Do you ever see that in your kids' hair? Like it's a mystery goo. You're like, I don't, I don't know what that goo is. Like, I don't know if that's a needs bleach glue or just needs a wipey glue. 
what level of cleanup does mystery goo need? It's I, you know, it's hard to know. Um, she's all good. She's all good. All okay, right. I've got some kids chalk, and um, I might grab some. Like, all right, I've got teeny tiny kids chalk. <laughs> <laughs> kids what? chalk. Could you just have a little tiny I, piece of chalk? It's, it's, it's as if I was not at the art material show. <laughs> or or that there's not a bucket of chalk like somewhere three in this feet from you on the floor. Uh, it's fine. I make it work. Okay. Because that's the reality of my life. I'm going to come up here. This is the upper right corner. And I'm going to come down to about this spot right, not quite to the middle. So if this is the middle, just a little over from the middle. I want to be just a little off center. Make a little X, okay? A small, not noticeable X because I want it to go away later. And I'm going to just give myself a little guide of a little arcing, meandering stem, okay? Okay. And that's just going to be my anchor for what I'm doing in this piece. Now, listen, every dandelion grows different. Every dandelion does it its own way. This is a number four bright. <laughs> number four bright. And I'm going to make... A dark green and how I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna take a little of my yellow over to my blue and this green is gonna be more blue than say yellow does that make sense it does so I'm adding a little more blue in this mix than the yellow mixture and I'm wiping the excess paint off my brush because if the brush overloads I won't get a nice line okay I'm just giving it a good load which Generally looks like a little bead of paint. I don't know if this is... Can we see it on up close cam? That it's one? just a little bead of paint. Now you didn't overmix that at all. Yeah. No. <laughs> just, just noted that off. <laughs> it just isn't necessary. I'm on the edge of my brush. Going to create a nice, happy little line traveling up my canvas with my green paint. Now, the chalk is going to give me a little resist, so I'm going to be coming back. But it does help guide me. And if I were really new to painting, that would be very useful. Yeah. That little guide, that little anchor, you know, just a little life raft. I'm going to thicken my stem a little bit front at the bottom and let it be thinner as it goes up. Because, like, a lot of plants, definitely dandelions do this. Things are thicker the closer they are to the ground. Mm -hmm. They have more robust systems close to the ground. I'm going to come up and make sure I have a nice stem happening here. It yeah. looks beautiful on my canvas that I feel really happy about. You could use a detail round if the brush was giving you any grief. And no, it's the brush. It's not you. Now, could you uh, remix that one more time there and show us how you did that? Mm -hmm. I'm going to have to in like a second for the leaves. It's necessary. Oh. All right. So I'm going to take a little bead of yellow. Right, I pull a little bead out over to my blue, and I pull my blue into it. I don't want to have it be blue. It still needs to be the green, but it's going to be more blue than yellow. And, and that is uh, phthalo blue and cad yellow. Cad yellow. Okay. Yeah. Now, up here at the tip, I'm going to do a really cool thing. Just, let's see if I can get my up-close camera on this. I can't. Let's see if you can. Let's see if I can. There we go. So I'm going to create a little wide kind of flange here, and it's going to taper in to my stem. It reminds me a lot of those pegs at Cracker Barrel. <laughs> <laughs> it's a weird thing that visually I thought of, but I was like, that really looks like those pegs at Cracker Barrel that you the, play that game with. Those are called golf tees. Golf tees. That, those things. I don't golf. <laughs> so, now I'm going to plant my brush here and very lightly take off a little... You know those little fluff, sta what are they called, stamens? Uh, the Inter internets will tell us. Yeah, those are, just, those are the little leaves. So I've just made a few of those just coming off here, like the flower would have. And I'm going to let that have its little moment, like it will, like it could. And then I think I'm going to, I want another little flower like right underneath this one little stem so I'm going to run this little stem down it's going to come down 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 but it's going to swing over to join his friend somewhere over here 
with a few of these guys coming right off. How I get it to taper like that is I'm lightening my pressure as I pull out. I'm pulling down, I pull the brush down, and then I lighten my pressure, which means I'm lifting the pressure up off the canvas. I'm pressing hardest at the beginning of the stroke, and I'm lightening the stroke as I pull out. So then I think this needs another little friend just coming here. Hmm. Happy little friend. You could have more of these little flower stems. This is your painting. I made a decision to have three. Yep. But you could make a decision to have other numbers of flowers. So and those would be valid choices. It looks like there may have been a little jump in the stream there. Oh, no, was there? Yeah. Oh, I hope it's okay on the final video. Yeah, I'm looking at the... Uh, it looks like our, our stream going up is going okay. People were complaining about a little jumpiness, but it seems to be doing well. Okay. So we're going to we're gonna stay at it. But right now, you're just doing three of these little... Yeah. Yeah, if the stream is bad, we'll re-upload a pristine video from our system. So never worry about that. Yeah, it seems it, it, I, I think I saw a jump on the on the viewed video as well, but my stream report says that the upload is good, so you may have to rewind and see that there. Whoops. Let me oops, go back over here. There we go. All right. I've mixed some more of my dark, dark green. Okay, can you I, I was on the wrong page, just okay. real quick. I brought some yellow over. Yeah. Like I did before, coming over to my blue, making some more of my dark, dark green. Okay. And I'm just really feeling it. I'm just thinking about dandelions and how I feel about dandelions. I really love these flowers. I'm going to take a little brush stroke up. Yeah, I'm going to come up and up and up. I'm going to curve a little bit to the left, and then I'm going to wander over a little bit to the right. And that's how I get that sort of arabesque curve yeah. to this. And one of my favorite parts of these flowers is there sort of crazy crackly little edges. Mm -hmm. So I come down a little tip and when I come out to my leaf, I start to do these jagged little edges. We have so many people out here joining us today. I just saw, I saw, I just saw, uh, uh, Yanni join us and I saw, uh, Lindsay was here Hi and Lindsay. Melody and Lindsay had a great broadcast on she uh, creators. Yeah, she did. It was pretty cool. If you're a YouTuber, you should go check it out. Yeah. There's some information. Yeah, but you're just uh, there's a lot of wonderful chats going on here. And everyone is there? Wanted, they all wanted hi. to say hello and, and hi to you and I they miss say you. Hi back. I missed you too. I missed you too. It's no fun being sick. I'd way be rather be YouTube than sick. They're happy you're back to the YouTube. I'm happy I'm back. It was just, you know what it is? It was one of those rough two days, and then you take that third day to sort of recover, and by Saturday I was, like, back, but it was, like, it was, I was worried. We were working. Man. I was worried. All right. <laughs> so, so I'm just jagging along this little leaf. Mm hmm Jagging along. So I come in. Make sure I keep this up close camera going, John. Oh, I thought you were there. It just, okay. You just disappeared there a little bit for me. Okay. And I'm just jagging. Sometimes I come towards my line, and I jag out. This is that fun thing, right? And, and if you're a new painter, just enjoy this part of the process. This is There's no right, there's no wrong. As long as you're painting these little crazy spears, you're going to get a good result. Okay. Right? I'm excited to see what she was doing there. I'm now I'm going to come back up, right? Come up the other side with some more jaggediness. I'm just using my number four braid, and I'll scoop it in, and the thing I'm going to try to do is make sure that I don't get crazy wide. Don't get crazy wide. Try to stay on this, like down here, this is the widest part of your leaf, and then as you move up, it's going to get narrower and narrower and narrower. So you're going to be going ever narrow, and try to keep it no more than like an inch or so wide at its widest point at the bottom. Mm-hmm. Just following along. And, you know, you could do a smooth spear, and that would be okay. And then I just marry this right back into the leaf with a smooth line. And then I just get to paint that all in with my dark green. Hmm. That's all that takes. It's not really drawing. Right? It's not really a drawing yeah. skill set. 
as much as it is a uh, just enjoy yourself and relax skill set. <laughs> just kind of a scriggly leaf. Scriggly leaf. And, and and if it helps you to go scriggly leaf, scriggly leaf, do it. I think that's actually a sun leaf as parts of a flower go. Okay. S- or scriggly leaf. Scriggly leaf. Is also an acceptable term. <laughs> Not for your teacher at school, but... Mm. For you at home on your canvas. I'm just painting that out. Just with the green. This dark, my darkest green. I think that, that Kim, or I'm sorry, Kelly. Hi, Kelly. Is, is actually watching us from the sunny shores of Passamaquoddy Bay. Is she in Passamaquoddy? That's what she said. She's so, go, go find Pete's Dragon for me right now. <laughs> Bring him right here to the studio. <laughs> We'll all sing songs. Bring some, bring back some of those scales. I'll make some pink paint uh, out of it. No, we're not going to touch that. Dra- I'm definitely a dragon conservationist. Well, hopefully just you know, <laughs> the ones that have fallen off. We're not wanting to take any <laughs> actual scales off. No, or just ask you know him permission. Yeah. Lizards molt. <laughs> <laughs> just, I love that there's a real Passamaquoddy. So I'm just painting in this green as I go down. Painting it in, making a nice solid leaf. Not hard, not stressful. I love how few colors of paint there are in this painting. Mm-hmm. Just painting that in. Solid. Enjoying it. It's like coloring with paint. And I, and I make my own coloring space. So there, that nice wandering one goes up there. I'm mm-hmm. gonna wet my brush. Okay. And I'm going to make a little leaf that curves up here and kind of weaves between these two. All right. So press harding, hardest at the bottom here, and then as I get up, I'm definitely gonna lighten it. I'm lighten it, and then I'm gonna make sure that weaves through. Not hard. Yeah. Not hard. At all. John's going to make sure I keep my camera on. I, you guys. I, I switch between the one that gives me the best view of what you're doing. Sometimes I don't tell you. Oh, okay. Because sometimes the close-up camera, I can't really see. And which is why we're orienting to the left now. we got more cameras coming, hopefully. Oh, that would be amazing. So squiggly D, squiggly D, I squiggly. You're making little squigglies. I'm making little squigglies. Because in my universe, this leaf is as squiggly as I want it to be. You know? And I'm enjoying it. Mm-hmm. Right? And I'm going to come the other side with my squigglies. Right? I'm going to squiggle them on my other side. And I'm going to just enjoy the squigglies there. And sometimes I'll take the squigglies quite close to my line and then I'll bring them out. But I make sure that the leaf is getting narrower. As mm-hmm. it approaches the tip. That's all I'm doing. How easy is that? And then right at the tip, I let it come out to a point. Yeah. I'll paint that all in. Squiggly D, squiggly D. So much fun for me. Mm. I'm like, this, this is no stress. Your squiggles, they're not graded. They're not related to your income. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're just your squiggles. Mm-hmm. And all squiggles are valid. Your squiggles are valid squiggles. It's in your space, your time, your creativity. Doesn't need to be explained or justified. It just is. Like, do you ever do that? Like, you take a little bit of time for yourself and then you try to explain it. You're like, mm-hmm. I was just really tired and just really need to sit down. I'm just, please let me have this like two moments. <laughs> <laughs> You're like explaining it to other people around you. <laughs> This doesn't need that. Somebody comes by, what are you doing? I'm squiggling. Go away. Squiggling Shh, is happening here. Squiggling is going on. Squiggling is going on, and I'll talk to you when my squiggling is done. Maybe there'll be some shading after squiggling. We'll see. There will be shading after squiggling. <laughs> There's always shading after squiggling. Because we want to have layers, right? Yeah. Because <laughs> paintings are like ogres. They must have layers. Yep. That's right. Paintings are... I'm really relaxed about the overall shape of this, by the way. Because I just recognize it needs to be this sort of crazy shape. 
And as long as I've gotten something like that, then I am pretty happy. So it needs to look like some flowers blown in the wind. I like to sit back and think about dandelions and times I've seen them and how I felt about them. And, and I, this is going to be crazy, but it's like what it was like for me. And I imagine how I, I was like to blow them and watch wind go across a field of them. So some designing went into this painting. Mm -hmm. Dandelions were actually shockingly greatly considered. Yeah, yeah. And, and how you might feel about dandelions was really considered by me as well. So I'm going to take this little line here. And I'll do another little line up. There we go. So it kind of, what this really does is make this like little curve space. And I'm going to squiggle. My squiggling is happening. You're all right there. My squiggling is happening. Squiggling is happening up and down. Squiggling, squiggling. Just enjoying that and just tipping that up and just like enjoying that coming out, right? That's yeah. my squiggle space. Mine. Your squiggle space may look different. And that is okay. Yeah. And you may be a squiggler that you're like, I've nailed your squiggle. <laughs> exactly that squiggle. Squiggle master. Right? And really don't underestimate actually saying squiggle. Yeah. <laughs> squiggly, squiggly, squiggly. It's funny how the brain works and creativity works. And believe it or not, I'm going to let this line smooth out along here and says squiggling. So it applies the leaf has rolled together. This part where I've let it be smooth and just squiggled on one side mm -hmm. implies the leaf has rolled. As they do. They roll, John. I also like to think about like caterpillars and, and oh. crickets chewing on the edge of the leaf. Oh, that would be just, yes. Yes. Can you, and you hear it and you, isn't that cool? Yeah. Just thinking about this world you're making. Because this world is very peaceful. Whatever your real life is like right now, this world. In this painting with this dandelion is completely peaceful. It's completely calm and whole. You're fine. You're good. You know, we don't even need to pipe in the calm, serene sounds of crickets. And you're making sure you're changing up the music, right? Yeah, we have we have some we have some okay. down tempo music happening. Okay, <laughs> it's not like the same thing on some crazy loop because I heard about that once. Uh, no, 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 <laughs> no. We've got we've got we've got about six seven songs here that are on rotation okay. now. So all right, but we're gonna we're gonna try to get some more too. We're gonna we're gonna yeah. see about getting some different music. Right now we've got some. Uh, some great stuff from about the mid '90s, you know. <laughs> some background music from, <laughs> from the, the mid '90s. '90s. Ooh, it's retro. <laughs> or just affordable, whatever you like to think of. It's retro broadcast background music. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is. So once I have that in, and this one is this one should be dry by now, right? Yep. I'm gonna do something sort of interesting. I'm gonna take a little blue over here to my yellow, and I'm gonna make this bright green isn't that bright green it is oh hi angela angela anderson just came in oh angela hi how are you doing angela and i also see official panda Look, oh pete's out there pete's out there hi official panda we have so many sh new sherpettes and people out there i think we've I, I was looking over earlier we had almost 200 people here it was like 190 wow. something so it's it's uh it's it's been a really exciting day coming back. We, we so. appreciate that. We do appreciate that coming back. I'm gonna take another line. I'm gonna kind of almost come back up that first. Remember the middle line you drew in? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna kind of come back in and put that in. Doesn't have to be exactly where you had the first one because now you have this sort of leaf to follow, right? And I'm not trying to get it exactly the center. I'm not that worried about it. I just need to say I'm dividing this leaf in half. Yeah. And now I'm gonna paint this right side of the leaf with this lighter color. I am dry brushing that in, painting over my darker color, right? Mm -hmm. And I don't mind if a little of my darker color is showing through. I just want my leaf to have a couple of tones. 
Yeah, can you can you pull that up on the close-up camera there a little bit? Oh, I'll yeah. wait for you to get that. Okay. There you go. And we'll and we'll do some more going up the leaf, right? So I'm just coming down here. I'm tracing over where I was. Now down here, I'm going to kind of taper in because I want to apply this leaf is here. So I'm going to taper in a little bit, which implies there's some layering happening. Apply your layering. Come back up here. John's going to make sure you don't have to go through the nausea camp. <laughs> <laughs> Getting my bright, bright green. I'm just going to follow along my squigglies. I'm painting in with this nice light color. This fine green. So I've got just this blue and just this yellow, but I actually have a shocking number of greens that I can do with the two of them. Mm -hmm. And I'm just taking advantage of that. I'm just painting that up. Just getting that worked in this nice, just happy, lighter, easy color. So all we're doing is a happy, lighter, easy color. You can do this. Great first time painting. Right. Great painting, though, if you're, just, uh, if you're just like, oh, I just need to relax for the day. That's all I'm looking for is just something with my tea and a little music and my friends just chilling out and painting. See that double leap there? Mm -hmm. That's all it takes to create that dimensionality. And I bet you can guess that I'm going to be doing something similar right here. <laughs> Now, I'm going to make sure that I go over this because that's going to put this flower behind. So I'm going to come and I'm going to make my center line. Center line. Again, not too worried. Just coming along my little plant. And then just tipping the edge of this dark, which is going to create a neat little turn shadow. I'm going to like that a lot. And I'm, interestingly enough, going to paint the inside left. And what side I'm painting light is sort of saying, I'm going to come make a little squiggly down, mm. layered over. All right, so down here, right, I'm coming and I'm making a little squiggly down that layers over. And this layers those two leaves. Gotcha. It's okay that some of my stem gets covered and peeks through. That is okay. It layers my stem. And I'm painting that in. Just coloring over the dark. It's okay that it's showing in my brush is dry. And I'm just sort of dry brushing and painting that in. Yeah. And it's easy peasy. So, you know, uh, Jackie was asking, you know, she's a, she's a new painter. Hi, Jackie. You know, uh, about how long did it take before, you know, you, she, she's asking a complicated question. Okay. How, how long will it take before you have confidence to start designing your own paintings? All right. So that is complicated and also simple, <laughs> like everything in art. It's got a simple answer and a complicated answer. The simple answer is, is that if you paint consistently, like in a practice. So when we say, I have a painting practice, if you were to tell your friends, well, I've got a painting practice, it's pretty much the same thing as somebody saying, I have a yoga practice. You're saying, I regularly put myself on the list of important things to do, and I paint. So if you're regularly painting, if you're regularly including yourself in your own creative space, somewhere along the way, you're going to naturally start to say, well, I kind of like what that artist did, but I really wish it was sort of like this. And many of you may be experiencing this right now. You, Many of you may be in this moment right now where you're like, I really like what Sherpa did, but I feel like this painting needs this other thing that she didn't include, or it should be in this other space. Mm -hmm. That's the beginning of your creative original brain coming back to life. Many of us are forced to make our creative brain go fallow. Are you saying that the Sherpettes are not dogmatic? <laughs> <laughs> but we are we're forced by society to make our creativity is pushed down, pushed down, and it gets late and it goes into hibernation. And much like something coming up through cold and warming soil, it's going to wake up as the conditions allow it to. So you create the conditions for your creativity, and it's going to push its way up. If you continue to care for it and nurture it, it's going to bloom. Mm -hmm. Those things are going to happen. 
Um, for people who've been with me a long time, I've watched that happen for many, many people, and I'm seeing it start to percolate and happen for some people. And if you commit to yourself, it will happen for you. Yeah. Soapbox, sorry. <laughs> no, no, it's good. And and if you so if you start if you're painting along and you're like, I like this judgy rooster, but I think he should be aquamarine. Go for it. Then Yeah. Man, your judgy yeah. rooster should be aquamarine. And guess what? It doesn't always have to work out perfectly. That's not the point. The result is not the point. Yeah. It's I mean like <laughs> painting is its own reward. It it is. And sometimes watching someone paint is its own reward as I push buttons. Sometimes watching someone <laughs> paint is its own reward. But yeah, you're going to experiment with things when you start to feel that. And then at the point where you recognize not everything you, you, you try on works out, but the fact that you had the courage to try it on, you get as much from something that doesn't play out as something that does. Yeah. It's as, uh, as impactful either way. So that is my complicated yet simple answer. <laughs> gotcha. Because everything in art, complicated and simple. Yep. Paint, complicated and simple. All right, so I'm going to come along here. All right. Okay. Coming along the bottom here. Oh, I'm supposed to do the middle. I'm going to come up the middle. See, sometimes I get off my own track. I don't know if that ever happens to anybody. You're, like, painting along, and you've got a little track, and you're just goofing around. You know, and then you're just like, I'm off my own track. And I'm going to tip that up. Enjoying that. Enjoying that a lot. Yeah. And painting that lovely, lovely, bright side of the leaf in. Mm -hmm. Not being perfect. Unless you want to be. If you want to be perfect, be perfect. You want to slow down and uh, strive for perfection. The only thing I ask is that you decouple that from judging yourself. Yeah. Go for the goal of perfection, but then you have to decouple from judgment. <laughs> And if you can do that, then you can absolutely enjoy the pursuit of perfection. It's the pursuit of perfection coupled with the self-judgment that is not a fun experience. Yeah. But perfectionism is perfectly fine. But if you're like, I need to be a free spirit and uh, not be stressed out about this, that is also okay. Mm -hmm. This is your painting practice. I am just sharing it with you a little bit. Appreciate being allowed into your lives. Yeah, now there's a there's, there's there a bunch of people saying that they're having a really hard time finding the number ten uh, simply Simmons. <sighs> and we, we yeah yeah so it's like some of our back order. so we we'll uh, we'll do, we're gonna do do some research. The next brush time. guys, from what people have been saying online so far, have been the most consistent about keeping them in. Yeah, but they're on. Uh, you know, some you know they have travel schedules, and I don't know what all their schedule is, and I didn't get to see them at the material show. Yeah, no. so I'm not up on their most current information, but that's what I'm hearing from you guys is that the brush guys have them in the most often. Mm -hmm. And so we're gonna try to get some uh, some affiliate links and things like that going. We're we're trying to work on relationships yeah. so we can find good. So suppliers. you can just yeah. one click. Yeah, G good prices. It won't change your pricing yeah, at no, all. No. I'm we're just trying to create a situation where you're like, I just need to get, I just want to get this set, or I want to know just one click solution kind of a thing it's in stock that's in stock yeah <laughs> so that's that's what we're looking for is we're trying to find that i have grabbed a number two bright oh so uh number two bright you have a number two bright so uh, uh lisa was saying that Hi, lisa. Uh, jerry's art arama uh has some in march so that they're gonna be arriving again on the some number tens are coming in and they'll be in on the 25th well that's probably because they were just at the <laughs> Yeah. March 17th and, and the 25th. I got some orders in, I imagine. I saw them there at the booth. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry, I'm being cheeky. I have got my little, <laughs> my little thing here. And I'm going to come up to my... I'm going to come all the way up to here, actually, I think. And I'm going to just make a little highlight on this one little... What do we call them, John? Uh, those, uh, th those are... Uh, I'll go look at it real quick. It was... There it is. Sepples. Sepples. And yeah. then I'm going to highlight the top side of the brush with a very thin line of this brighter yellow. It's a little detail. If you can do it, it will make a big impact on your painting because it'll make that stem pop up from the canvas. Mm -hmm. Uh, John's always so funny when I'm like looking. I want to. I want to create. You know, I like to create complicated pieces for you guys or more advanced beginner. But I also like to create that entry 
like or just simple relax every once in a while it's a simple relax it's the, I, I like to do it i like to do simple well-designed pieces because they're relaxing mm-hmm. you know and that's what i like i'm gonna do the same thing here i'm gonna be highlighting the left side so just a couple of these I'm going to come along here, but I'm going to lift the brush when I get to the leaf because I don't want to make a line over the top Cool. because it's behind. And that's how I could tell that story, that it's behind. It's okay that my brush is dry. It's not very wet. It's okay that it's not painting every inch of it perfectly. It's just not about that. And you don't have to worry about that today. All right? I'm going to come along the top highlight, top highlight. Coming along the top highlight. John's being so quiet. I don't know if he's reading your comments or yeah, what he's Yeah, I've been doing. reading comments and watching what's going on. So This is a good time to get a fresh cup of water. And the reason is, is we're going to put out a little fresh yellow. It's not going to take that much, but a little fresh yellow. And a little fresh white. Because we're going to do the easiest puff in the world. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm going to show you a trick. If you're good at holding your shapes, for you guys that are really confident in this, if you're good at holding your shapes, you don't need to do this step. I've but never if you're, held shapes. Huh? I've never held a shape. <laughs> but if you're new and it's hard for you to get your circles, ah, right? Is that what you mean? Like Yeah, hold your shape. It's like, gotcha. it's hard for you to have your circles. You can take chalk and just, I'm going to get right up on that one so you guys can really see what I'm doing. You can take a light chalk and draw a circle guide right there. See, I'm drawing. Yeah. It's very light. It's a little circle guide. And that way, when I'm putting in these open dots, I have a sense of what my shape is. Because when you're really new, that could be hard to keep track of. And I'm going to do a teeny tiny number six filbert. You could also do a detail round. So either of those would be acceptable. I'm going to get my brush a little wet. I'm going to take a little yellow out and a little white, just a little bit. I want to add a little white to my yellow because all yellow tends to be a little thin on the pigment. And I, I want it to be a little heavier than it normally would. And then right up here at the top, I'm going to dab some a small amount of dab. Do you see that little dab of just yellow? Yeah. That's it. It's a weird little touch, but it actually makes a difference. I wouldn't bug you with it if it didn't in the overall piece. Now I'm going to load up some whites for dabbing. You can kind of see that load right there. I'm not going to paint over those. But interestingly enough, I will paint over my green. I'm going to make some dots. See those little dots? Can we see our little dots? That's all it is. Yeah. Now, I'm going to make sure I'm going to erase my chalk line right here because I want to imply that my puff ball is open. Yeah. So one way to remind myself that I'm going to be doing that will be to open that up. There you go. And I'm going to come along the outside edge and I'm going to drop little dots, little puff dots. They're just little dots. These are not perfect little things. They're just, they're just weird little dots. And when I get here, I'm going to do an interesting thing. Yep. I'm going to tell a little windy story. I'm going to curve up and then down. And maybe up. Right? I've got those just kind of going off the canvas. That lets me know where they're going. Trying to get too tight. Don't do like a gazillion of them because it'll look like little ants going off your canvas. Mm -hmm. Right? And maybe I'm going to add just a couple like here open. I'm going to fill in 
Just a few. I'm gonna wait for John. I'm here. Oh, okay. You're, you're, you're. I'm, I'm, I'm still here. You're, you just, you just went off the close-up camera. Oh, okay, let me move the close-up camera. All right, I'm just gonna strengthen some of that line, not all of it. Maybe a little bit here, and maybe a couple spots here. So I've strengthened it with just a few more spots, but not everything. Mm -hmm. Right, because wind is not really like that. Maybe I'm gonna drop just a couple more here. So it's kind of thicker and thinner and meandery. Yeah. Now I'm going to do small light dots over here. And then I'm going to press a little bit harder. These will get bigger as I come down. What would be the fuller, fluffier part of that? Yeah. I'm going to continue keeping it lighter and open here. So one way I can do that is have my dots be a little bit lighter. I'm going to curve them down sort of in a U. There. So now what I can do when I have that done yep. is I can fill in with dots my happy little dandelion puff. Yeah. And it is happy. It my really dandelion is. puff is very happy. You can even add one little puff there if you need to break up your line. Yeah. All right, you're just you're just telling the story of a little dandelion that got caught by a sturdy little breeze. All right? And is now blowing in the wind. Just applying little dots. Yeah. I need to adjust my close-up camera. I think it's pretty good. Okay. You're so you can see that there. That's yeah. all that's happening. This is it's looking good. You could do this. You could you could do series of these. Once you learn this technique, you could just paint a whole bunch of these with different little dandelion designs if you felt like it. You could. Just happy little dandelion designs. Mm -hmm. If you wanted to. Okay. That's all that is. That's yeah. all your puff is. You're done with your puff. Can you believe it? You're done That's with your puff. pretty cool. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do my little yellow flowers. And to get that, I'm going to add, I need my base yellow to be just a little darker. So I'm going to take, I'm going to do an interesting trick here. I'm going to take a little blue. That's too much blue. This will be kind of the trick for you. You want it to be a slightly tinged yellow, slightly green, but still to the yellow. Not like what you have on your stems or your leaves. Right. Right? So I'm going to load that up on my brush. And I'm going to do the, e this is the easiest thing in the world. I'm going to plant the brush and then just curve little brush strokes out. So they're harder when I at the base and they taper out. They have a little curve to them. It's okay if some of the canvas shows through. You don't even have to worry about that. And you don't want them to be green. They still need to be yellow. It just is a little tinge. That's maybe the hardest thing for you if you're doing is finding that little tinge. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to do the same thing down here. Right. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's all that is. Now, how are you liking that uh, uh, the System Three paint that you're using? So our audience is asking for about this. That. So far, I'm really happy. I'm really looking forward to getting drilled down into it and seeing like where its coverage is and how much it color shifts and what it does. Um, but I was like, let's give the experiment with the turquoise because I'm always telling you guys and all the paints have a turquoise. Mm -hmm. Grab one of those. So I was like, oh, I have, an, I have a different turquoise. I'm like, I'm going to definitely do that. And, how's that, and that's been doing pretty good. So. That's been pretty doing pretty good. Cool. It didn't do anything crazy. 
I don't feel like I got to call nobody up. Yeah. <laughs> at all. But it's just one yet. So I got to I got to keep working with it. Yeah. So I'm going to come here and I made I mixed a little white into my yellow. So it's like a ducky yellow. Mm hmm. And not all the way into the base. I'm going to add some of that yellowing highlight. Maybe a couple little petals just go off there. Yeah. Right. You can grab some straight yellow if you want to, to brighten your overall dandelion. And I would recommend it. Grab some just straight. And add a couple dabs of that. So you've got all three of those happening there. Creates a very vibrant. Mm hmm vibrant piece. I'm going to get some more of that ducky. Now, w in which brush are you using right now? I'm using a number six filbert. A number six filbert. Right, but okay. you could use any little small detail rounds. You could use a teeny tiny bright. You just want a small brush that you can flick and it gives you a small little detail. Hmm. So I'm going to do the same thing. Just more towards the tips with this. And then when that paint is spent, in other words, it's off your brush, and if it isn't, you can always wipe your brush, I'm going to add some just pure CAD. Mm. Just to give just a couple things of that. And that is all it takes to do the easy, 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 easy puff dandelion. Wow. That's it, huh? That's it. Puff dandelion. You painted it. Super happy. Super simple. You did it with your friends. And totally do like more of these and change them up and make them your own. And that would be fantastic. And congratulations for putting yourself on the list. Yeah. You put yourself on the list today. Look, Check for button. you. No. Oh, no. <laughs> John's just pushing button. Ah, button. I'm going to go encourage John to put himself on the list after this. And we're going to see you Wednesday for a couple of great videos. And we're going to see you Thursday. I'm going to see you with Easel really soon. We love you. We love you guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.